So it is my honor to introduce Senator Blumenthal from Connecticut. Thank you all. You are here bearing witness. You are here demanding justice. You are here demanding democracy. That's right. yeah. And let me tell you, what's happening in this building is not democracy. It is not what the American people want. Right. Right. And I am hearing from the people of Connecticut and all around the country how scared, how scared and angry and they are. Why don't you just let me finish and then you can talk. You're not helping. I want to say to everyone who is here today, we hear you. You are the real people who will be affected. The Democrats collaborated. The Democrats collaborated. You collaborated with this process. You showed up and legitimized a fundamentally illegitimate process. Donald Trump is stealing the election. He's putting Amy Coney Barrett on there. And people need to come into the streets. We need to be in the streets. The Democrats will not stop a fascist America. It is up to the people to come into the streets. No more waiting. Go to the ballot box and vote against Trump, but be in the streets because there is a fascist coup going on right now. There is a fascist coup. Thank you. So I agree. I agree we should vote. I agree that Americans should go to the ballot. And they are doing it right now. In fact, that is a reason why this process is undemocratic. It should not be done, literally, while Americans are voting because they deserve a say in choosing the next justice. The next Senate and the next president should be the one choosing the next justice after November 3rd, after America votes, after the American people have their say. Yeah. And I just want to repeat, just so everybody hears it more than once, America should be grateful to all of the groups, the advocates, the individuals who have stepped forward with such courage. I brought in that hearing room Connor Curran, who suffers from a horrific form of muscular dystrophy and who will go without the treatment he needs if the Affordable Care Act's protection for people with pre-existing conditions is decimated. And Amy Coney Barrett has passed the Trump test, the strong test, that he will, she will overturn the ACA. She's passed the strong test that she would overturn Roe v. Wade and the ACA and fundamental rights relating to voting and workplace safety and gun violence prevention. Real people into that room included Tracy in Connecticut who needed and wanted IVF treatment. And Amy Coney Barrett has aligned herself with a group that would eliminate women's control over their own bodies and criminalize IVF treatment. She has stated that the legacy of Roe v. Wade is barbaric. She has indicated in her writings that she would deny protection to people with pre-existing conditions. So Connor Curran would be knighted and Tracy would be denied the treatment that she wants. Rights and real lives are at stake. You are not only bearing witness, you are telling America what's really important here, which is real lives. And my Republican colleagues don't want to face that truth. They are exercising a raw power play. They're doing it because they can. They have the votes today. But we need to make sure they don't have the votes when it goes to the floor, if we can. And we need to keep fighting. We are not done yet. We are not done yet. 
You are helping to save democracy. Thank you, everyone, for being here today.